Today we're making a cloak for Halloween. You can make this for a child, an adult, or even a puppy. All you do is measure from your shoulder down to however long you want and add an inch, and then you measure from your shoulder up a little bit above your head and add an inch there. Just get that much fabric. Grab your fabric, and this is optional, but you can get some fabric for the lining of the inside of the hood. Some ribbon or a clasp, matching thread, and a willing subject. Today's video is sponsored by Autosource. Save up to 30% on your next car. Check out the link in our description box below for more details. Take your shoulder to floor measurement, mine was 22 inches, and cut. That leftover piece is your hood. My hood piece measures 15 inches tall. Now take your hood piece and we're going to cut it down into a smaller rectangle than it is. You take the height of the rectangle and you add 4 inches to determine the width. So my hood is 15 inches by 19 inches. Now this part is optional if you want to have a lining on the inside of your hood. These two pieces are the exact same size and we're going to sew them right sides together. Sew the sides and the top and leave the bottom open. You're going to pull it right side out and you're going to iron it flat. Now lay it down with the right side facing up and we're going to fold it over like this. The raw edge is at the bottom. Now just sew it across the top. When you pull it right side out, it's going to start resembling a hood. Now set the hood aside and grab your cape piece. We're going to lay the fabric flat out like this picture shows, and we're going to hem the sides and the bottom. Now we're going to put a basting stitch through the top so that we can gather the top together. On one end of your basting stitch, grab the thread and pull. This will cause the fabric to bunch up and gather in the middle. Flip your cape piece over so that the right side is facing up. We're going to attach the hood to the cape and it's going to be right sides together. You can line up the edges and pin it. Sew it across the top with a zigzag stitch. And now it's time to attach the ribbon or the clasp or button or whatever you want to attach. Thanks for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see you next time.